In this video, I'm going to be talking about rickets. Rickets is a disease of long bones, and basically, there's a failure of mineralization of the normal bones, which makes them very soft and leads to a lot of deformities. I'll be sharing a mnemonic to remember the clinical features and the radiological manifestations of rickets. The mnemonic is the word rickets itself. We are starting with the clinical features. R is for ratchetic rosary, which is seen in patients with rickets. Basically, the anterior, this is the anterior chest wall, and the costochondral junctions become very prominent, and this leads to an appearance of rosary. So that is known as ratchetic rosary. Um, there are two more things in the chest that patients with rickets have. The second thing is the Harrison sulcus and it is a depression in the lower part of the chest which corresponds to the insertion of the diaphragm and the third thing that patients with rickets have on the chest wall is um, they have an appearance of a pigeon's chest and this is because the sternum is very prominent C is for cranial tapes. This is seen in young children who are like less than six months of age. And basically, when you apply pressure to the skull, it feels like a ping pong ball. So that's cranial tapes. K is for knock knees. And while you are writing knock knees, we are going to talk about other leg manifestations in rickets as well. There is bow legs. and coxavara deformities occur in rickets. E is for ends of long bones. Basically what happens is um, the ends of long bones become very wide and this is seen in children who are younger like about uh, six to nine months of age and this is very prominent in the wrist and knees. T is for teeth. Delayed eruption of teeth is seen in patients with rickets. And S is for skull. Basically, there is um, a bossing of the skull. And this is seen in children who are greater than 6 months of age. So that finishes, um, sorry, that finishes the clinical features of rickets. Um, a quick revision would be R for ratchetic rosary, Harrison sulcus, pigeon's chest. Cranio tabies, knock knees, bow legs, coxavara, ends become broadened and teeth, there is a delayed eruption of teeth and there's a bossing of the skull. Now we're going to talk about the radiological manifestations of rickets. I'm so sorry guys, the second half of the video got deleted and then I had to re-record it. We were talking about the radiological features of rickets. And um, the mnemonic again is rickets, but I'm not going to be following the order which I, um, the alphabetical order of rickets. I'll be starting with epiphysis. There are two um, epiphyseal manifestations. First is the delayed appearance of epiphysis is seen in patients with rickets and secondly the epiphyseal um, plate is widened and this is because there is accumulation of uncalcified osteoid around the epiphyseal plate which causes widening of the epiphysis. Now we're going to talk about the metaphyseal um, manifestations. There is cupping of metaphysis seen in um, rickets. And this is because there are a lot of um, cartilage cells which are proliferating around the uh, epiphyseal metaphyseal junction. So normally it's supposed to be like this and then 
in rickets it's actually um, this causes pressure and causes cupping of the metaphysis uh, and there is also a splaying of the metaphysis which is the S part of the mnemonic Then K is for the bone deformities, but now you're going to see them radiologically as well. That is knock knees, bow legs, and coxa vara. We talked about these in the clinical manifestations as well. And R is actually a very late... Um, manifestation of rickets and that is rare faction of the diaphyse uh, of the diaphyseal cortex and um, yeah that's all so um, the mnemonic goes are for rare faction of diaphyseal cortex but it occurs very late in the disease um, there's nothing but I, cupping of the metaphysis, knock knees, bow legs and coxa vera, epiphysis, there's a delayed appearance of epiphysis as well as the widening of the epiphyseal plate and uh, S is for splaying of the metaphysis. This is kind of cool. Um, while I was practicing, I just wrote stay awesome, medical awesome on my whiteboard because that's what I usually say at the end of every video and um, I was studying in my balcony that day and I just left it out there and um, completely forgot about it and the next morning I find all these flowers scattered across the board and um, the flowers are actually from the plants in my balcony itself they must have had a rough wind or something but they look very pretty and I just wanted to share it with you guys that's all. Um, stay awesome.